rise and shine value farm family welcome back to another episode of the farm if you're new here you are most welcome please consider subscribing if you haven't already and also turn your notification bells not to miss out on any episode of the channel and of course to all our returning subscribers thank you so much really appreciate you guys so much thank you for being part of the family loving the content loving the shopping of the doppers i'm really super excited today it is a very hot day as you can see we are still in the maasai land we are still in insignia still buying the sheep and it's amazing we are now coming to the final stages of buying the sheep and we are now doing the judging we have of course our guest i have my co-director of course nearby we are you no know, making preparations for the best sheep that we are going to bring at value farm and an amazing thing is guys we are bringing for you the best that's why we are doing all these precautions we are doing all our best to make sure all the sheep that we are bringing to value farm are going to be of standard and they're going to make it to our breeding program as well so guys i also have my co-director right here who is going to say hello to you guys and also tell you guys what we are up to today hello everybody this is grafton um well, today we're actually finalizing the purchases. I'm sure my partner discussed yes. that with you guys already. But before making all the final decisions, we actually have the premier judge for this whole district who's traveled all over with over 30 plus years of experience handling and dealing with Dopper. He's inspecting, he's checking, he's literally uh, is actually going through grading Each. the stock mm -hmm. to see whether or not we have any foundational stock do we have pure breeds here mm -hmm. what level they are so that way we have a better um road map to actually start building our flock and uh in uganda so that we can bring you guys the best yes. we can find and of course bookkeeping record keeping so that when you come you can be able to trust we can be able to tell you guys which one is which exactly pures and also the pedigree so i'm really super excited for this because at least you guys should really have the trust when you come to value farm you're going to definitely get the best from us and of course coming here it is just a blessing as well because you know people in kenya already have the association the dopa association they're really well organized so if we can have such in uganda that is going to be really beneficial to all farmers who are opting to start the tricky thing about the condition of the animals now, do not pass judgment. We know they're not looking their best because as you can see, this place has been going through a severe drought. Yeah. Um, the animals are literally are barely getting enough to eat. Their feeds are being supplemented. That is true. Water here is a finite resource. <laughs> Food is a finite resource. The rains were supposed to start on the 15th of this month. Mm -hmm. They still have not yet arrived. So you literally could be walking within the herd and then animals are dropping Dead. all over the place because they, the food resources are not here. So if you're in the Congo, Uganda, Burundi, you know, other parts of TZ, where it's not this dry or this dire, you should count your stars and be grateful. That is so true. Because after being on the ground here, I'm never going to complain about us getting too much water in mm -mm, Uganda mm -mm. ever again. <laughs> You should be happy for what we really have. And this is a lesson to Ugandans, guys. We have all the grass, so you should really start farming because you're blessed with good climate. So people here, actually, with the hot sun, they really value their animals. With all these weather conditions, they struggle, they struggle they too much. They rent, they rent lorries to actually take their animals from this side of the country to a different to the other side. section. They spend real money trying to protect their flock mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot of folks where we are that don't appreciate anything that is true that we have to offer yeah that mother nature offers <laughs> so. that is so true like the water guys if you don't have your own dam it is really sad most of them have really lost animals but they are waiting for the rains so count yourself lucky and of course, we are here, of course, to the final stages. Let's wait for our judge so that he can also educate us, tell us more about the dopers, so that we can also get something to learn from it. Lesson one that mm. I hope you guys take away from this mm -hmm. is to try to buy your flock as young as possible. That is true. And be patient, let them grow. 
um, under your under your supervision. We always tell you guys about that. But every once in a while, because of of, of selection, mm. you might see one that you want to have <laughs> as a project. Yes. And we went to a farm that didn't have the youngest, but the the composition was so great. We actually went against our rule mm. and actually purchased animals that was approaching the two year mark. Mm. But we feel they can at least give us two to three lambs. You know, that way, you know, we think it'll, it'll be, you know, worth the purchase. We're not recommending anybody else do this. Mm -hmm. It's just so that we had to have this particular composition True. for the rams that we're bringing from South Africa. We feel that they'll give us a final, a better final product down the line. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah, we'll wait for the judge. He'll say a few words. Yeah, tell and, us um, more yeah, about See you guys in a bit. So guys, we are here with Judge Jeremiah and we are really super excited that he's here to judge all the animals that we are taking to Uganda, we are taking to Value Farm. It's just an amazing experience so far. Well, I mean, it's definitely been an eye-opening experience. It's one thing to think you know how to select your animals, but then you get a real judge <laughs> with Experts. the eye and the experience to come in to tell you, close but no cigar. That is so true. <laughs> so, there are a lot of other critical factors when it comes to selecting, and that's why we actually have the expert here. So, uh, Mr. Jeremiah, when you're selecting, or when you, for those people out there who don't know anything about selection, what are the, the standard should somebody be looking for when they're wanting to get into the whole dopper breeding process? Good. Um, there are some parameters that you have to look into mm -hmm. when you are judging at the dopers. Mm -hmm. When we are on the farm, we say we are inspe inspecting, mm -hmm. yes. so that's inspection. But when we are competing for the shows, we are judging. Okay. Okay. But all are the same thing, mm -hmm. because you, you still use the same parameters mm -hmm. to judge an animal or to inspect an animal. Okay. And the uh, five important parameters, the sixth one is a, a type. Okay. Okay. The last one will be a type, but the sixth one. But the, first three which is uh, body conformation mm. you're looking at the whole animal mm -hmm. from the head uh, the whole body the barrel of the animal the legs mm -hmm. you look at the udder if it is a, a male you look at the testicles mm -hmm. because you need the functionality mm -hmm. okay. and uh, we are looking for production so you look at all those things and those that area is is, is called body conformation okay mm. and you're looking at the body conformation you can give points from one to five okay. Okay. and then another critical area is the fat okay. distribution the fat distribution is uh, the and the dopa is a meat animal mm -hmm. so you're looking for mutton you're not looking for fat for mm -hmm. fat yeah sure. so when you see a black he a head passion the fat is concentrated on the tail and the head also. Mm -hmm. So you also look at those areas. Is there fat in there, that animal? So if there is a lot of fat, you can you can downgrade that animal. And the third uh, parameter that we look is the size. Mm -hmm. The size is important when you're looking at the animals of the same age. Mm -hmm. We look at the, the growth of the animal, how big it is, uh, we have some so big animals which cannot carry their bodies. Mm -hmm. So once we call them, they are very small animals. Mm. Then you call also those animals. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is the color. Mm -hmm. The color, the color of the dopa sheep is a black head and white body. Yeah. Uh, you can you, you can have permit some uh, white spots, but mm -hmm. not so much in some areas. So that's another area that you look, and also the covering of the animal. Whether the covering is uh, how, how is it distributed because they, we this is a ram which has wool mm. and a ewe which has hair yeah so it is a mixture of hair and wool and we wool. are looking for the animal that can shed itself so we are looking for that loose end animals mm -hmm. those are the best that you can keep mm -hmm. but then for the color and the and the and the and the, and the, and the, and the hair we don't uh, penalize okay. okay because you you can improve on that but both if, uh, the fat contribution, body, contri uh, uh, body, uh, the size of, um, and the body uh, conformation, mm. those are the critical areas mm. that you have to look at it. Now, can you dispel a myth for some people? Don't lose your train of thought. Yeah. A lot of people think just because a dopper is not 100% pure black head, yeah. 
and face. Yeah. Because if they have some brown around the neck, yeah. that it can't be a dopper. No, the doppers, you allow the, the head, the, the, the black to go up to the shoulder, mm -hmm. yeah. not beyond the shoulder, mm -hmm. but on the shoulder and uh, on the knees mm -hmm. of the animal mm -hmm. at the front. Mm -hmm. uh, other areas, they should not be so big mm -hmm. uh, uh, black spots. Mm -hmm. uh, but we also have a doper which is completely white, mm. a white doper. But that one is, in Kenya, we have only one farmer who has imported from South Africa. Uh, or otherwise, the rest are keeping the black and white. Okay. We don't want a, a white ear. Mm -hmm. We don't want a continuous bliss. Mm. We, don't, we don't need those ones, those colors. Okay. okay. Yeah. It depends even the, 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 the feeding of the animal, the condition. Now it is so dry. Yeah, so yeah, even sure. the color, you cannot see well. Mm -hmm. it, it, sometimes it is dull mm -hmm. and you see it's brown. Mm -hmm. But we... We have the brown, which is a brown of another foreign color. Mm -hmm. they, they, you can see the foreign color. If it is mm -hmm. a foreign color, you do your way with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw you checking the teeth. Yeah. You can maybe tell That's other people aging. out there. Aging. Yes. Aging of the animal. The animal, just like us, they have baby teeth, mm -hmm. milk teeth, mm -hmm. and they break. They, at, at the one year, from one year and a half, they start to break the two. They grow break, yeah, at go. one and a half to two years. Yeah. Then the, then the second pair will come at four. The another one at five, another pair. Mm -hmm. Until the eight, eight teeth are complete. complete yeah. So sure. that is how we age. We okay. age and when they start again to break, then that animal is old. Mm -hmm. So when you see your animal start, starting to break, you cull them. You, you sell them for meat. Okay. Uh, because it's easier for them to die uh, when they cannot feed well. Wow. So, yeah. How about how you can be able to grade the mm -hmm. dopers? Mm -hmm. Because you talked about the pures, mm -hmm. then you talked about the pedigrees yes, yes, as yes. well. Uh, how will someone get to yeah, know about that? We have a breed standard. Yes. Where we follow the, the breed standard. We, we do it from the South African one. We grade into three areas, in three. Yes. The first one is foundation. You yes. have to, con to have a foundation. Mm -hmm. And then when it is re registered with the Kenya standard, both when you, the offspring of those foundation and foundation, you get a purebred. Mm. And then you cross a purebred and a purebred, you get a pedigree. A mm. pedigree and a purebred, you get a pedigree. Mm. So that's how we grade. We grade up to, but what you see, you look at the animal. You, an animal can go to this a stage of pedigree, but because of those fault, it mm. can even be a cull. Mm. Wow. It can be reduced to zero. Mm. Yeah. And what causes that most cases? Yes, the, you, uh, we, we say the ram is the half of your flock. That Always. is true. So when you, <laughs> when, you, when you are going to select rams, you must be very careful. careful. Translation, guys. <laughs> you cannot wear an Armani suit with a pair of sneakers. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to spend the money to get quality use, you need to be smart. You need to save your money. You need to have a quality ram or else you're just wasting your time. Yes. Because you can have the best use with the with a suspect ram and you're going backward instead of moving forward. I agree on that. Even the, the, the animals, you can upgrade animals even from local breeds. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then you get a better breed. A better Absolutely. breed. Yeah. yeah. So you always when you're selecting, be very, very uh, careful on the ram. The ram is half of your flock. Yeah. Wow. That and is amazing. That is your, and the lamb is your money. Oh. <laughs> All right. A, a really good ram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know, if we had a ram around, I could have told you, but uh, like a man, if you look at a man, um, the, the chest mm. is bigger. Eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So even the, <laughs> the, the ram has to have a chest mm -hmm. and the lower on that, on that side. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the ear is the opposite. Yeah. It's just like a woman. Mm -hmm. The woman has the hips mm -hmm. and this side is a little small. smaller. So if those, those are the features when you see physical. Okay. Physically. Physical but person. also at, when at the ram, you look at the tes testicles and you look how they, how they drop and you can feel it. Mm -hmm. If they are pulpy, Mm -hmm. It's good, you, you and mm. that's you, you have good, good, <laughs> good, good uh, offsprings there. Mm -hmm. okay. So you take care of the ram. Okay. Oh, wow! Yeah, wow, that is really amazing. That's yeah. great. And of Thank course, you. for people who go outsourcing for this sheep in the market, it's not advisable. It's better for you to go to the to the reputable farm so that you can get animals with with, animals. with records. Yes, that is the best thing. And you, as a buyer, mm. you have to have some basics. Mm -hmm. You need to know, like 
I've shown you undershot. Yeah, yeah. Undershot mm -hmm. animal here. Mm -hmm. Don't take undershot animals. Mm -hmm. Don't take animals with weak legs. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to have strong legs and uh, the mouth also. And they have to be proportional. So there are some areas that you can even Not miss look out for yourself. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. miss out. But you can also see good animals, very good animals. Okay, look at the, the eye yeah. uh, and even the judge when he looks mm -hmm. at it. But if there's no production, mm -hmm. there's no need to keep it. Mm -hmm. Sell wow. it for meat. Wow. Yeah. As a farmer, um, let us be honest. Mm -hmm. Even people when they come to buy from you, mm. sell animals <laughs> that that are is, good. That mm. is true. Yes. Not you are selling the rejects. You are yeah. the rejects you go to the market for yeah. meat. Yeah. Yeah. But if you are selling to a farmer who is going to, to breed, breed. Please, 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 farmers, look the best. And yeah. that is you, you that is that is your name. That but is if you so if, true. if you if you sell bad animals, you tarnish your name mm -hmm. and no one will come and your farm will you, you go, will ruin. Wow. That is so that true. That is truly the gospel, guys, when it comes to being honest, having integrity. Because let me tell you, if you've been following this channel, we always preach that, mm -hmm. you know, your, your brand is what people say about don't you when about you're not you. in the room. <laughs> so you, so don't want, you don't want to be that person <laughs> that think, oh, you know, I fooled this farmer uh -huh. because, because he of doesn't just quick really money. know. Mm -hmm. You get that quick money. It could be a lot of money. But mm -hmm. by the same time, when that person gets to their farm and they test the animal and they find out the animal is sick or they find out the animal is not performing, or you tell them, oh, this is a 75% pure, and it turns out to just be a 50-50 basic breed, you are tarnishing your reputation. And in the world of business, you can never put a premium on your name, on a That's good true. brand. That is truly priceless. Mm. So again, thank you so much. I, I want to add something. Please. Mm -hmm. Very important uh, aspect in farming. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep records. Yes. Because records will tell you, even when you are selling, you know what you are selling. Yeah. And you, you can show even your farmers, mm -hmm. this is this is what I'm selling. Mm -hmm. This is from this animal. Mm -hmm. You can show, and you can show them, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because that is what you, it will, you can show them in even weighing them. Mm -hmm. and they know that they are getting getting weight. They are, they are, they are, they are survive. They are spinning mm -hmm. uh, in the family. Mm -hmm. So that that one will just sell it. it that is yeah. it so itself. the records are very important. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that is amazing. I know you've been really doing sheep farming for a long time. Yeah. How profitable is it? It, maybe? Is, it is profitable. How? For us now, rams, we are selling the cheapest ram is 40,000 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, That's about 1.2 million shillings, mm -hmm. roughly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you go to the market, mm -hmm. uh, when you go to the market with animals like this, mm -hmm. they, this animal sells very fast mm -hmm. at good prices, mm -hmm. even maybe 8,000, 10,000, mm -hmm. 12,000, 15,000. Mm -hmm. When you go with your local breed, mm -hmm. you are going to get 5,000, 4,000. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that is, you're, 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 you're making money with this animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They really sell because they grow fast and uh, they, 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 you get return. Oh, wow. Great. And they uh, weigh more. They weigh more, yeah. <laughs> that is really so true. Mm -hmm. Guys, I really appreciate the judge coming here is, is also going to issue us the certificate so just mind you're going to get only the, the ones that make the grades of course <laughs> <laughs> the ones some of them we shall also take them for commercial but at least we shall have them for meat yeah. since they really grow faster but we shall definitely share with you guys our records in case you come and buy from value farm you're going to get really the best of the best because we are the we are here with the best people in kenya on ground, on ground. who has who have been doing this for a long long time yeah. we really appreciate all you so life, much and we life. hope you can come to uganda one time when our training center is open, open. You'll come and train the farmers out there. You will teach them more. You shall have shows like they do in Kenya because they have shows here yeah. for the for the doppers, for the sheep, so that we can also, you know, step up our game in, in Uganda. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. what we need for all our farmers out there. Very this is the first step we've taken as Value Farm, but we definitely hope for the best. And of course, with all your support. If you haven't already, please go and check out our social media platform. That is Instagram, Value Farm UG. Facebook, Value Farm, TikTok, Value Farm UG. Please go see the behind the scenes we also post there. What is on ground, what we are definitely doing at Value Farm and also our journey at Value Farm. Please subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, like the video. Till next time. Bye. Bye.